Good day and welcome to the biannual submission video for Sage Best Payroll and HR. This video will assist you to create the IRP5 electronic certificates to import into EasyFile. Please ensure that you are on the latest version of Sage Best Payroll and HR by selecting on Help and About. Ensure that all your pay frequencies are in August 2017 by selecting on Utility, System Status. If you have any employees who will be on maternity leave during the biannual submission period, they must be reinstated in August processing period before performing the pay period update into September. After the pay period update process is complete, you must remember to terminate them again. This termination must be processed in September period. Perform the final calculation and print your pay slips by going to Process, Payroll Run. Select OK and Finish. Once completed, generate all your usual reports for the month of August by selecting on View, Statutory Reports. You can now print the EMP201 and create your UIF electronic declaration. It is recommended that you print the monthly analysis report by selecting on View, Payroll Reports, Monthly Analysis. Print the report for all employees. Select the number of months as 6 and select Show Details. Please save this report to be used for your submission processing. Once completed, we can now do the pay period update into September period by selecting on Process, Pay Period Update. This is just a warning to advise that check and bank transfers might have not been created. Sage Pastel Payroll and HR will prompt you to print the IRP5 IT3A exception report before processing the pay period update. It is recommended that this report is printed and all exceptions corrected before closing the August 2017 processing period. Print the report for all employees and select OK. If it is only the tax numbers that are missing, you will still be able to import the electronic certificate into EasyFile with warning. However, SARS require for each employee to have a tax number. You can now continue with your pay period update. Select Utility, System Status to ensure that all your active pay frequencies are in September. You will now be able to generate the CSV IRP5.18 file which can be imported into SARS Easy Filing. To generate the CSV file, select View, Statutory Reports, IRP5 IT3A Electronic Certificate. Select All Employees. Complete the first certificate number field and select the directory where the CSV file will be saved. Select OK. The system will advise that the certificates have been created successfully. Go to View, Statutory Report and print the EMP501 Reconciliation Report. This report will be used to complete your SARS Reconciliation Declaration to reconcile the total PAYE, UIF, SDL and ETI contributions for the biannual period. You can now import the IRP5.18 file into EasyFile. Thank you for viewing this Sage video.